It is spring and that means people are getting out and about to help out their neighborhoods. Here's an interview that I did yesterday with one organization gearing up for some major projects. Calling all volunteers, the United Way of Greater Charlotte is gearing up for their Live United Day later on this month, where volunteers from all around the area will be leading neighborhood projects in and around the Queen City's corridors of opportunity. So joining me now, we have Laura Yates, the president and CEO of the United Way Greater Charlotte. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Of course. All right. So what is Live United Day? Live United Day is an opportunity for all of our neighbors to come out and help those most in need in our community and some of our most challenged neighborhoods by working with the residents of those communities to do um, day-long volunteer projects. And what kind of projects are we talking about so here? So it could be landscaping, neighborhood beautification, really whatever the neighborhood has decided that they need to focus on. Yeah, and the area that you're talking about, you've donated or you've raised $16 million or put towards that. Um, in the corridors of opportunity here in the Charlotte area, why target those areas specifically? These are areas of Charlotte that have historically been disinvested in for a number of decades now and where we see some of our most challenging outcomes for children and families. So we decided to concentrate our investment in those areas and fund about 100 organizations to neighborhood-based and grassroots nonprofits that are really closest to the ground and can have the greatest impact. So you guys are kind of the, the middleman who gathers everything and then just gives the organizations what they need to make these projects happen. That's exactly it. So we want to be a resource for nonprofits. We want to help them be able to focus on their missions. So we raise money collectively and then give it to them so that they have what they need to operate. And when we talk about economic mobility, why is that something that you guys are focusing on right now instead of, you know, any other kind of project that you could be working on? We had a study a few years ago that ranked Charlotte 50th out of 50 largest metropolitan cities in economic mobility. This means that if you're born poor in Charlotte, you're likely to stay poor your whole life. And we don't believe that a child's outcome should be dictated on the day that they're born or by the zip code to which they were born. So we're focusing on economic mobility and specifically these neighborhoods of higher need so that we can really try to change that trajectory and every child have the opportunity to thrive. And with the neighborhood projects, beautification or fixing sidewalks or repairing homes, how does that help with economic mobility for these families? Well, for one thing, I think it connects us all together, right? So maybe you're going to go volunteer in a neighborhood that you're not familiar with or is on the other side of town from where you live. So it increases our opportunity to know our neighbors, but also it helps improve the morale of those communities. You know, we feel better when our surroundings around us look better and reflect who we are as the individuals living there. And you did mention volunteers. That's what's making all of this go around. Is there somewhere where people can sign up? Do you need more people to come participate in that day? Absolutely. We, the more the merrier. You can go to our website, www.unitedwaygreaterclt.org, and find the opportunities there. And we hope everybody comes out. And by the way, what are those dates for Live United it's Day? It's April 29th and May 6th. All right, perfect. So hopefully we'll have some good weather for those days. We've been riding that spring roller coaster. Yeah, Laura Yates please. from the United Way of Greater Charlotte, thanks so much for being here. Thank you.